A cross in the median on Mercer Street marks where a crane crashed to the ground in 2019, killing four people and injuring many more. For me personally, I, I still deal with it a day at a time. For parents Andrea and Henry Wong, it was the day they lost their daughter. This incident, which we will not call an accident, was entirely preventable. Sarah Pantip Wong, a 19-year-old freshman at Seattle Pacific University, died when the falling crane crushed the car she was riding in. The 71-year-old man walking down the street and two iron workers were also killed in the collapse. To be able to talk about what happened and to also have the ability to do something about it so this doesn't happen to another family uh, actually uh, helps us a lot. Pain has turned to action for this grieving family. Together, they crafted what would become House Bill 2022. The bill, currently working its way through Olympia, would add new restrictions for crews operating cranes in Washington State. The heart of it is a permit program. Uh, it requires the, uh, the prime contractor of a construction project to obtain a permit from labor and industries uh, before they can erect, uh, reconfigure, and um, dismantle a tower crane. Before writing the bill, neither had extensive knowledge of cranes or construction, but took it upon themselves to learn more, to make change. The moment we understood that she had passed was the moment we decided that uh, we had to do something about it so it wouldn't happen to someone else. The Department of Labor and Industries investigated that fatal collapse, determined that several companies did not follow the crane manufacturer's instructions for disassembly. Now, in a separate investigation and case, a jury awarded $150 million to be spread among the victims and their families. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.